so good morning students welcome to all in this lecture number 13 of module 2 that is culture so in the previous lecture we talked about sanskar and in, in this lecture we are going to talk about culture so if you see over the ages various cultures and civilizations have taken shape at the core of the civilization is its culture and at the base of the culture is what has been understood or assumed about the reality that is sanskar a civilization is the expression of a culture in the form of behavior so in order to share our understanding feelings thoughts various modes of communication have been used in culture like literature song dance concert drama painting sculpture etc so in this lecture basically we are going to study what is culture how it is related to sanskar and what are various mode used in culture to spread its activities so let's start with the lecture so sanskar and culture are basically interrelated to each other so if you see at the core of civilization is culture and each culture is what has been understood or assumed about the reality that is sanskar so if if we are talking of, uh, of individual human being then we are talking about sanskar when we are talking about combined living collective living so collective thoughts are culture and when these thoughts are expressed in behavior work it is basically a civilization so civilization is the expression of culture in the form of behavior so in this lecture basically we are going to talk about culture in the previous lecture we studied sanskar and in the in the next lecture we will study about civilization so let's understand the culture the one important point is what are key goals of culture so number 1 development of the right sanskars so the key goal of culture is the development of right sanskars of every individual the development of the right feelings and thoughts in every individual so the aim of every culture every cultural function is the development of right sanskar the acceptance the feeling and thought of everyone so basically culture helps you to develop your sanskar to guide you at the level of feeling at the level of thought if we see basic effort of any culture so basic efforts of any culture are in two direction number one organizing various efforts and number two collective contemplation so in culture various events are organized that impacts people's feeling thought process for example like musical programs dance performance skits play and dramas effective speeches and lectures play a very significant role in influencing the feelings thought and acceptance of most of the people in the society so such role models incidents programs leave deep impressions on our sanskar so many times you may get influenced through a good movie many times you may get influenced of through cultural program many times these programs help you to awaken you many times these programs help you to understand the things through many various manners this this culture is going to help you it basically help you second is collective contemplation so in various culture there is a provision of collective contemplation so various gathering are organized 
in a culture and this the purpose of this gathering is to evaluate yourself is to talk about the present situation is to talk about what is to be done is to talk about what is reality so basically this collective contemplation is a way to investigate the present situation of the society to investigate the present situation of yourself so it basically helps us to develop the competence required in fulfilling roles to be taken up in the future in further stages of life so these two efforts are made by culture organizing various events and collective contemplation so in any culture we can see a lot of activity lot of activities that actually affects our feeling and thoughts they play a very important role in forming our acceptance right or wrong so for this various types of communication take place in a culture so now we are going to study about modes of communication so many types of communication held in a culture and the purpose of this communication is to give you insight is to give you philosophy of a culture so what are those modes modes of communication lifestyle system of production etc so if you see modes of communication language literature dance song music drama painting sculptures etc are used to convey the feeling and thought so first is we are going to study this modes of communication so we can see there are three types of mode of communication number 1 verbal communication number 2 audio visual communication and number 3 is publication publication and print media so in verbal communication speech is primarily used in this type of communication that is discussion lectures radio programs etc in audio video audio visual communication sight is used in addition to speech that is lecture with slides tv programs movies documentaries documentaries etc then verbal and audio visual communication it is very popular in today so that is for example radio and tv programs are generally live and recorded replayed where as movies are generally recorded and replayed so now in today's scenario we have this facility we can record the event we can replay the event but in live this has to be synchronous that is performance and audience have to be present at the same time so with the ability to transmit in a real time the performance and audience need not to be in the same place if we talk about recorded so verbal or audio visual performance that are recorded can be curated stored transmitted to various places and replayed so nowadays we have many types of communication so that we can convey our thoughts and feeling up to every individual in our culture so equipment and instruments are required for this purpose various form of audio visual communication have a whole range of possibility like drama plays etc presently there are three prominent media for this number 1 newspaper magazine literature books internet these are three dominant media available in present situation so in communication and publication the language words have played very important role and in audio visual communication the ears as well as the eyes are used words and to see the form in multimedia communication other senses may also be involved
सो बेसिकली वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन संस्कार एंड डिस कम्युनिकेशन संस्कार इज बेसिकली आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग और एजम्पन अबाउट द रियालिटीज एंड फॉर दिस वी यूज वेरियट्स वेरियस टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन ऑडियो विजुअल कम्युनिकेशन प्रिंटेड मीडिया टू कन्वे आर एक्सेप्टेंस टू कन्वे आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू द अदर तो संस्कार एंड कल्चर आर वेरी closely related to each other so if our sanskar are based on right understanding right assumptions then using this media we can convey the coexistential principles harmony to every individual so if we sum up the whole lecture we can see the key goal of culture is development of right sanskar of every individual development of right feelings and there are three types of communication verbal audio visual and publication that are used to convey feelings thoughts in any culture up to the any individual so that's all from my side for today's lecture now in next lecture we will talk about civilization thank you very much